We're back at Universal Studios Hollywood. While we were walking by right here at CityWalk, Super Nintendo World Store, we noticed this. How do I look? I think I'm, I'm, I'm ready for uh, some Super Nintendo World today. Let's go! I'm gonna have to say this one is the most comfortable of all the head uh, head accessories. I really recommend this one. Recently on Instagram, we saw a post about the US Army and uh, some type of training ground coming to Universal Studios Hollywood. A uh, little sneak peek, I guess, at what it could be. Uh, I don't know how to participate or who can participate, but I guess it's to test your limits at a one-of-a-kind US Army experience. It does say grad. So I don't know if this is like a grad night thing. We're back at Universal Studios Hollywood for some updates. We got my boy Junior in the house. What up, what up? Is there gonna be a facade at Parisian Courtyard? I'm gonna say no. <laughs> I'm, I'm staying positive, I'm gonna say yes. There's some new like tumblers that have arrived. These are like 40 ounces. I have no idea how much you could fit in here, but 40 bucks if you are interested. Maybe there's more of these symbols to come because we got the star and I thought this was peach at first, but it's, it's just a pink one. It is 11.30 on this beautiful Tuesday. It does close at 8 p.m., so that's that's one more hour than uh, the usual. That's good to know. I didn't realize they were closing at 8. Hopefully, they start closing at 9 again. I love when the park closes at 9. Uh, the wait times don't seem too bad, but everybody's at the lower lot, it seems like. Studio 2 or 35, so not too bad. We got a Hello Kitty Spirit jersey that now has arrived. Uh, and this one also has the bows, the Hello Kitty bows on the side. And then the back side of water, Hello Kitty in the glitter. And then Hello Kitty at the bottom. Uh, how much was this one again, Junior? $80. $80. Woo! First Halloween Horror Night update of the day. Parisian Courtyard House. Uh, still no facade. Man, I really thought today was gonna be the day, Junior. That uh, we see a facade. Damn. <laughs> they're, they're really uh, starting late. Maybe they're at the point where they have to announce something before they start the facade. Yeah. Because maybe if they put the facade, it gives it away, kind yeah. of thing. Right now, they're just putting up the walls. But no facade still. No yeah, facade. they haven't even enclosed things yet, I think. Here we got a look at the mountain of Hollywood Drift. Seems like all the focus is up a lot now. They're pouring concrete all the way down there. I don't know where new track would have arrived. Maybe in that location up there. Hard to tell. I thought new track was gonna arrive on this thing, but who knows if that structure will even have track. But lots of progress, lots of digging now on this bottom area of the upper lot. Today in the morning, we saw on Twitter that a tent arrived at uh, the Visiting World of Harry Potter over there in Orlando. But I was like, where would they even put a tent, Junior? Nowhere. There's no room over here. I was like, maybe in this extended queue that never gets used, but I don't see a tent. So it might be just an Orlando thing. Time to go on the studio tour. I honestly go on the studio tour just to get on Earthquake. It's so good. I freaking love that one. But we're gonna get some Horror Night updates and uh, just enjoy this beautiful Tuesday. Kind of chilly, kind of warm. Uh, I, I wore a spirit jersey today and I'm glad I did. It's paying off because I'm telling you, it's cold and hot, same time. Stages and seeing the trams filled with excited guests as they drive by. So uh, keep an eye out. You never know who or what. We'll see you on the studio tour. 
right. Lopez versus Lopez, the boys, and Ted are some great examples of shows that come here. What's he saying, Junior? I can't hear nothing. <laughs> Do you guys think Horror Nights will ever use stage 34 again in the future? I don't think it's going to be used this year, but I'm just saying in the future. Early affection for movie monster. Paratram going to work this year. 60th anniversary is going to go pretty late in August. We'll see how it works out. Grab all your belongings and take your 3D glasses. You will need it when the tour resumes. If you want to stay on the tram, wait times, mobile food ordering, and so much more. And to purchase any of the NBC Universal movies and TV shows you've seen on the tour, visit W. They're starting to put some kind of layer on these walls now. I'm guessing they're gonna do it with all the wall right here. Finally got off the studio tour and the house being worked on in Curious George uh, it was all kind of like, could it be Bride of Frankenstein, Scream Queens, which was a scare zone we've had in the past. It looked like it, it I don't know, <laughs> but I'm starting to hear word, it's none of those, none of those. Uh, and then it could be an IP based house, so not an original, but an IP. Things are getting very interesting, lots of details are now coming to life. I could only imagine we're not that far away from an announcement. Unless they're just going to go full-blown detail and, you know, spoilers at that point. <laughs> but we got one more house, or actually kind of two houses to look at. Transformers and Behind Mummy. The house behind Mummy. This is the one where I have no freaking idea what this is. I'm starting to think it's going to be an original. And the reason I say that, how can they go that far without somebody being like, it's that movie or that TV show, you know what I mean? Or that horror movie, whatever, whatever the, that horror thing. Uh, and nobody knows. Some people were speculating Fallout, but I'm thinking this could be an original. Uh, John Murdy talking a whole lot of Alice in Wonderland. Could that be Alice in Wonderland? <laughs> what do you think? Could it be Toxic Tunnel? Toxic Tunnel, yeah, Toxic Tunnel. It could be Toxic Tunnel. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool, Toxic Tunnel. Scare Zone for many years. Finally gets a... Gets a house? I'd be down with that. We were just on the studio tour, we were able to get kind of a look, but now being on the escalator, we get a way better look. I'm starting to think that's not primer. That's uh, actually what that facade's gonna look like, whatever it is. And uh, another notable thing, lots of the wood that was in that area right there, it's gone. So it's definitely uh, in a house, hopefully. 
Hopefully it was for Horror Nights. It could have been for a maybe, but I think it's for Horror Nights. How are we looking today? Pretty good. I'm Lex from Roller Coasters. This is a secret, a little rough uh, sketch of our work this week. <laughs> so this is three loops. Uh, there's going to be a loop for each movie. So Damn. it's going to be two loops. Oh, wow. So hard at work over here. Give so, me suggestions. Don't and... eat food before getting on this one. Oh, period. No, you already know, bro. <laughs> what are you guys? Uh, oh, yeah, there's going to be drops. That's what I was about to ask. Which way do you think we should? <laughs> this way? This way? <laughs> Which, which way you think is gonna uh, any of them? Fast the I think any of them. They're all gonna be fun. <laughs> well, can't wait, man. For sure, for sure. Have you a good day, we'll Lex. See you in oh, for sure. If you have any more notes or suggestions? Holla at your boy. All right, yeah. thank you. Do you think Lex is being serious that there's ten loops on Fast and Furious Hollywood Drift? What? What in the freak? Yeah, don't get me wrong. That sounds amazing, but damn, ten loops. <laughs> We're on the way out now, just checking the Universal Studios store. They have the Lego for sale now here. And they still got the family chain. Always keep an eye out if any new merch comes for anything. And check this out, Back to the Future Spirit Jersey. And look at the back. Very iconic. All right, all right. Uh, how much is it being sold for, Junior? 75 dollars. 75. Wow, so Hello Kitty, five oh, more dollars. Right. Hello Kitty is more. 80. <laughs> Sorry that I guess has closed out Francesca's. And they put a sign part in our Stardust while we enhance our universe. And this is at City Walk. Who knows what's gonna replace this? Really cool to see new Back to the Future merch. I hope they keep bringing more and more a hoodie, you know, shirts, more stuff. I like it. I like it. Thank you all for watching Five Fires YouTube. That is all for today. We will be back. Hopefully these Horror Night construction updates start picking up steam. We're not that far off from Halloween. They haven't announced dates, but uh, Disney starting August 23rd, I could imagine. Hollywood doesn't want to be too far behind from that. All right, smash that like button. Fire it.